to my channel my name is Michelle Clay in this video we're going to be doing my morning routine quarantine style as you can see we're already in my bedroom and let's go the first thing I do as I get up in the morning is make my bed I feel way more accomplished and I feel way more productive when I do that first I then open my curtains look at the view for a few seconds and get ready for my day the next thing I do is go through to the living room, open the curtains and then just give a quick tidy up. Sometimes I leave my blanket or some books or whatever I was working with lying around so I just do a quick clean up. Honestly, it takes me two minutes. Then I head through to the kitchen for the most important part of the morning is my first cup of coffee. I really enjoy coffee and especially the first cup. So. Here's me making my first cup of coffee, which I thoroughly look forward to. Here you can see as I'm making my coffee, I'm listening to a YouTube video. Uh, my favorite YouTuber, Kendra Atkins. She's a mom of three. She has awesome advice. I love her channel. I'm going to link it down below for you guys. While I'm drinking my coffee, I check my social media, check emails, and then I have my quiet time reading my Bible and praying. Then I go on to check my school email and also set up my lesson for the day, check if I've got any messages from my girls and before I have the class. Then I go through to my bedroom and putting my workout shoes on, getting ready for my workout. My stationary workout bike is in the living room so I turn my smart TV on and watch one or two episodes of my favorite YouTubers, normally family channels, I love family channels and inspirational women. I try to do around 30 minutes a day of level one or two on my stationary bike. I'm trying to lose weight and build up my fitness. As soon as I've finished on the back, I head to my room. Those three apparatus are, that one's a roller. You can see me rolling out my back. It kind of cracks my back in the morning and stretches it. After I've done my roller, I head for my shower. Now I quickly steam my shirt. If you don't own a steamer, you should seriously think of getting one. I never iron anymore. Guys, I'm all showered, dressed now, ready for the day. The next step is definitely another cup of coffee. Yeah, I'm just showing you that I'm putting collagen in my coffee and that's a Stiviana, which is a locally made um, stevia it's the best so I thought I'd just come and chat with you guys while I'm drinking my coffee so how are things going for you guys like during the quarantine how are you feeling yeah how are you coping what's happening I'll tell you from my side this is totally an honest um, an honest response I am feeling much better during quarantine. I honestly sometimes find my job a bit stressful here and just sometimes I'm working crazy hours. So I don't know, just to be a little bit more relaxed um, and in my home, but still working. So obviously I'm still so grateful that I'm still able to have my job and work. Um, and still earn money so I feel really for those people who are not earning or you know who are relying on their salary and they just contact clients so I'm feeling super grateful <laughs> that's another thing so I'm definitely feeling less stressed obviously because you know of the situation uh, and I don't have to you know have the normal stresses that I've got at work and I'm just feeling really grateful and you know gra gratitude really just is an <laughs> amazing feeling to have so when you're grateful just I find I have more joy I, f 
find I have more peace. So I'm feeling particularly grateful that I still have my job and I still have my salary. And I'm feeling more relaxed. Um, I can, yeah, I'm in my home. I am a little bit of a homebody. So that's also another thing that's kind of not really worrying me too much. Look, I do wish that I could go out and meet my friends for coffee. Um, maybe take a walk. Well, I suppose we can take a walk. Maybe, you know, I don't know, go shopping more. Although I have been trying to stay away from the malls in general. So I think mainly the main thing is seeing my friends, going for coffee with friends or going out for breakfast. I love to go out for breakfast. So yeah, that's definitely one that I'm missing. Another positive for me or things that I'm really enjoying or it's made me exercise more. So as you could see, I got on my back. I've been doing my back for about 30 minutes a day so that has really helped my mental state and just to exercise I'm actually losing weight because I can cook I can eat food I can plan food I'm not as stressed so definitely I'm a stress eater so when I'm overly stressed I definitely eat too much and the wrong food so I'm eating more of the right foods I'm eating definitely less and I'm exercising more. So I am losing weight, which is really good for me. So I would say all in all, quarantine is treating me well. Obviously, you know, it is can get lonely at times, but because I'm here on my own, but I'm on yeah, calls with friends and family. So that's keeping me going. But yeah, I think having a routine definitely helps. Like just to wake up and have set things that I do, especially like reading my Bible and being encouraged. And I don't know, just I'm trying to stay inspired and motivated. So obviously I'm doing more of YouTube. I'm trying to learn more. So I'm trying to be as proactive as I can during this time which I feel like is really helping and obviously being more relaxed so comment down below guys what you know how quarantine is treating you how you've um, experienced it I know some people are absolutely loving it and some people are hating it so for me it's been good um, and I would just say really that it's helped reduce my stress. Um, sometimes I, I mean, I'm a school teacher, but sometimes I do find it quite demanding and I work really long hours. So I find just being in my home and having slightly less hours has really helped. Then I'll quickly vacuum my apartment with the Dyson. If you don't know about the Dyson, I will link my review video of the Dyson V7 above. Go and check it out. The last thing before I start teaching is I just make sure all my dishes are done and the countertops are clean, ready to start my work day. So here I'm starting my first live lesson of the day, I'm teaching a math lesson and I generally do it with my stylus and my iPad. If you'd like to see more of my online teaching day, I will link my video above so you can go and check out more of what I do each day. Once I'm done with my first lesson, I head to the kitchen to make my breakfast which is a smoothie. I am loving this smoothie, it's giving me so much energy, there you can see I've already put a banana in, I'm going to now put some frozen strawberries, so delicious it makes the smoothie really nice and cold and I will then put, that is fresh spinach that I just freeze in little bags and I put a handful or two in, the more greens I can get the better. And I really feel that this smoothie is giving me so much energy for the day. So I try not eat too early. Oh, there I'm putting a bit of Greek yogurt in. Um, a Greek yogurt is full of protein, so really good in keeping you full for longer. I put some almond milk in. Great for smoothies, not too much. 
Um, now here I'm putting some chia seeds. Chia seeds are rich in omegas um, and also help your digestion. They've also got probiotics in them. And the next thing I'm putting in is flax seeds. Super healthy for you. So this is really okay. This is a green superfood powder. Um, one scoop of this is about two servings of green veggies. When I drink this in the morning, I feel like I have so much energy for the rest of the day and it really helps my diet plan. There I'm just using my Nutribullet to mix it all up. It looks, <laughs> doesn't look that delicious and it's green, but it tastes so good. Okay friends, that's all for this video. I hope you found it helpful. I know for me routines, if I stick to a good healthy routine, it really helps me. So hope you found it helpful. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe to my video. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. She's a Mona Lisa.